We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently Full-time care, diapers, therapy, drugs. This and much more make the daily list of children with cerebral palsy and their caregivers. With no manual in hand, caregivers go out of their way to ensure that their children are comfortable. On this episode, we feature two moms who are going out of their way in support of other moms in the same situation. My name is Jane Theory and this is Able Differently. Because we're differently abled, differently. While Cerebral Palsy Day is celebrated every year on the 6th of October, Smile for Neurodiversity organized a community gathering for caregivers and children with cerebral palsy to honor them. Take a look. Smile for Neurodiversity hosted a heartwarming event to commemorate Cerebral Palsy Awareness Day. The event brought together a diverse group of individuals. Siku kama ya leo tunakujanga tunalia inaisha, tunamukia mwaka kesho, mwaka yetu inanza kesho, tunamaliza leo, tunanza mwaka yetu kesho fresh. Ndiyo tutakutana tena na ya October ambayo tunatutalia, tumalize, tusonge mbele. For every beautiful human being, you see it in a special child. Sababu hawa watoto hawana mambo mengi. Wanafurahi tu, wanacheka tu. Kitu ni imani. And this is a God gift thing. Without God's gift, tale, God gift in it, how was it kuamini? Na unakuwa proud of it. I have my auntie, I have some of my nephew and niece. You see, and this unahitaji upendo. Na kweli nikiangalia sa nyingine naona karibu ya relative anarudi nyuma kidogo ana feel ile pain lakini namwambia jipe moyo i will walk with you guys until wakati mtaweza kujisimamia tutatembea one person at a time one person at a time caregivers share their personal journeys highlighting the challenges and triumphs they face in supporting their loved ones with cerebral palsy mimi nimewavulia kofia because being a caregiver because i've been one not apa peke yake not hapa kwa familia peke yake i've been a caregiver for the last 10 good years i've worked with people with different conditions na nawavulia kofia kwa sababu hii kazi si rahisi na inahitajingi neema depression kills because i can testify someone died in my house my better half died because of depression and it all came cuz yeah, yeah, men live in denial. I train myself how to be a caregiver to both of my niece and nephew because wote wako na shida tofau, tofauti. Ile shida zenye mama yangu alipitia. Najua kwa wengine wenu wazazi ndio shida saa hii na watoto. Shida ya kwanza, social stigma. Unazaa mtoto hivi pap babake ametoroka una hustle na huyo mtoto unapitia shida nyingi sababu baba ametoroka labda baba alikuwa na uwezo we hukuwa na uwezo unaachiwa mtoto hapo kitu ya pili unazaa mtoto anapatikana kwa na hiyo disability unasikia watu wasaidia baba wanasema huyu mtoto kama huyu kwetu hakuna huyu wewe ndio unajua mahali kama huyu unazaa mtoto kama huyu Unasikia ho, labda, wewe ulikosea mtu fulani, ama mama yako, baba yako ulikosea mtu fulani, kapani shimendeka kakuja. Medical professionals provided valuable insights and pledged their support to the caregivers and children. Kitu ya kwanza ni mewatorea kofia. Sio raisi, kuwa na uyu mtoto hivi. Si raisi wa mama. Si raisi and I know that. Kwa hivyo nitaenda nioge na director, kwa sababu counseling, Ni safari, diyo tuketi na ye tuone as as ego nursing home. Nawe sasaidia wa maaji. Simu ya naelewa kansi ni pesa, 
But sasa nikikwambia lipa hii session na huu mtoto uko na yeye leo next year uko na yeye come three years utaweza kulipa kweli Most caregivers have no source of employment and well wishers had something to make them smile 8 to 5 job haita work for you because unataka maybe tuseme kama umepata kama ni sabuni utengeneze sabuni ukimbize mahali urudi ukuje uangalie mtoto wako we are just going to start with two ladies Two ladies we are going to empower you. Na tukimaliza, ukimaliza, ukimaliza mzigo yako, usiende mbali. You are going to pick my number, I'm going to show you. Ukiwata na miangapi? Ukiwa na miangapi? Miangapi? Miatano. You have something ya kunini ya kuzungusha within kwenye uko na unapata shilingi yako mbili usirudi kuomba mtu. Dawafula from the National Council for Persons with Disabilities emphasize the importance of advocating for the rights and inclusion of individuals with disabilities in society highlighting how the council is coming in to support children with neurodivergent conditions sheria kenya uh, ambayo iliunda national inasema kuwa mtu yote ambaye ana disability anastahili awe registered na awe na nini na kitambulisho ingawa sasa tume migrate kutoka kwa kitambulisho sasa ni certificate tafadhali akikisha huyo mtoto wako ana certificate ya registration ya ulemavu kuna mradi ambao tumaanzisha ya watoto kama hao huyo mradi inaitwa autism and developmental related disability ambaye hao watoto wote wako kwa hiyo kikundi na tunalipa school fees ya primary ambao hao watoto wanastahili wao shuleni tunalipa tunalipia hao watoto school fees ya primary tunaita special primary school fees tunawalipia watoto wetu wanastahili wapewa therapy therapy services si ndio na hii therapy services pia katika mradi huo tunapeana tunafanya ile ambayo inaitwa mapping na unastahili ukuje kwa ofisi yetu either headquarter westland ama nyao house mtoto wako afanywe mapping na akifanywa mapping tutakuweka kwa hospitali yenye iko karibu na wewe ili huyo mtoto awe anaenda for therapy afanywa mazoezi to add a joyful touch to the celebration a special cake was cut for bahati who was born on that very day the gesture symbolized hope new beginnings and the bright future that awaits all children regardless of their abilities smile for neurodiversity cerebral palsy awareness day celebration was a resounding success showcasing the organization's dedication to raising awareness promoting understanding and empowering individuals with cerebral palsy kama wewe ni mtu chap chap utasaidika lakini kama pia wewe ni mama una uko slow hautapata msaada chap chap inamaanisha mtoto yote ako na haki ya kwenda shule peleka mtoto wako shule. Wakati ukipeleka mtoto shule enda kanzo au akupatie school fees. Na wale wanaendanga wanapata school fees. Tunataka wazazi wetu kama nyinyi mkuje pamoja muunde vikundi. Kikundi kinaweza kuwa ya watu kumi kwenda juu na mregister na social development katika hali hiyo kama mna kikundi kuna mrada ambao tunaweza wapatia inaitwa economic empowerment tunawapatia pesa ili mufanye mradi fulani ambaye itawezesha muwa na pesa kidogo mlinde mtoto wenu a world that is meant for everyone was this year's theme and emphasized the need of the community in coming together to celebrate diversity challenge stereotypes and create a world where everyone feels valued and included mtoto mlemavu anakujanga na bahati yake hiyo ni kitu ambaye mtaona saa hii kama wako wadogo hivi mtakuja kuona baada ya miaka kumi, ishirini. mtoto mlemavu anakuja na bahati yake nasema heko sana KBC na KBC staff kwa hiyo kazi especially sio all television zote zinaongea mambo ya disability na television kama hii ikitenga tu program fulani ku, kuongea mambo ya disability tunashukuru kwa sababu inafanya kazi yetu kuwa rahisi we take a short break but we'll be right back with more don't go too far we're differently able differently